This is the WinRay Bot HDMI and RCA AV to USB 2 in 1 video capture card. And it's not actually a card, it's a dongle. It plugs into the USB port. And it actually has inside of it two separate capture devices one that is HDMI and one which is your RCA, you know, the two audio and video plugs here that plug in over there. Um, it says it works with Linux and that's what made me select this device. I'm going to be testing it on a Linux Ubuntu system and see how it works. Um, physically, the one feature that I kind of wish it had is a HDMI pass-through so that you could have HDMI coming in and then out and displaying on a monitor or some other device and then also record it, but it doesn't have that. So basically, if you have HDMI from a device, it comes in here and you're capturing it, but you can't then send it on somewhere else other than via the stream of the USB port. Um, it's a USB, it has a blue connector, so it might be a USB 3. Um, we'll have to plug it into the computer and see what it does. It comes with a manual in Chinese on one side and English on the other. And it basically just tells you how to connect it, how to select which device to use. Um, and they select using OSB for your capture. All right, using Open Broadcasting Studio on my Ubuntu Linux laptop, I was able to record using the RCA AV plugs off of a DVD player. Um, I was also able to plug in a Linux um, Dell Precision desktop and the HDMI port out there and could see it. Um, I noticed that the default color looked a little yellow, so I had to go in and I had to change the brightness and the saturation and move these sliders around to get the color to look reasonable. It's still not crystal clear. It's not, the color wasn't quite as good as I would like to see as like from a monitor. It's workable if you're trying to record something, but keep in mind that on the HDMI port, the color might be just a little bit off. And then I plugged it into a Nintendo Switch and I was able to record the output of that Nintendo Switch as well. So all in all, this guy does what it's supposed to do. Um, might have a little bit of a color issue on the HDMI input capture, but you know, at the price point, it does exactly what it claims to do.